adverts. Our high streets are littered with them. Often we're too busy on our mobiles to notice, but now the advertisers have found a way onto your phone too. Locked in our own worlds, we've learned to filter out the billboards. But new technology already hitting high streets means those marketing messages could soon be a lot harder to avoid. This is an eye beacon. They cost just a few pounds to produce and thousands of them are already in place in shops and high streets like this one here in Norwich. It's the next big thing in in-your-face advertising and it's being paid for by you, the taxpayer. It works using Bluetooth, a technology that's in all smartphones. When you pass a beacon, your phone's Bluetooth connects to it. If you've got the right app, the beacon triggers an advert direct to your screen. The idea is to pull you into the shop to redeem the offer. What if your Bluetooth is switched off? Well, Apple is backing the technology and recent iPhone updates have automatically turned Bluetooth back on. Some estimates show 9 out of 10 iPhone owners now have it enabled. Here in Norwich, it's about helping shops compete with the internet, pulling in passing trade. People are usually either looking down at the pavement, they're looking at their phones, they don't look side to side. So if we had the opportunity for something to go ding at an appropriate moment, and then they would actually look in, they would benefit and we would benefit. But it's what's happening behind the scenes that's got privacy campaigners worried. To check the beacon's location, your phone has to look it up on the beacon maker's computers. They then select a suitable advert to send you. On the plus side, that means they can ensure you don't see too many ads. But it also means they get a permanent record of your phone's unique ID, where you've been, where you are, whether you received an ad and whether you went on to buy the product. The company behind this scheme is one of several to receive hundreds of thousands of pounds of government grants to run the beacons. They point out that users must have the right apps installed to make it work. The key thing about these proximity technologies like beacons is they're just providing a nice convenient way for an app to be triggered and then the app can do what the app already does, but we're just giving a little bit extra information to the app owner, which is where the beacon was and what it did and how it worked, which is just a little bit more information. It's not a kind of a big brother watching thing, it's the app owner just has a little bit more about where you are and what you're doing. This programme has shown before how retailers are using increasingly high-tech methods like this one to track and target customers. What you're able to do is see actually how people move around. They're hoovering up the signals our phones give out all the time and not everyone welcomes it. This is definitely the way that technology is going in terms of the extra surveillance that we're going to see on our streets. People are used to having hundreds of cameras pointed at them every day and they're told it's there for their security and, and for public safety. What they're not told in these instances is that they're going to be used as a marketing tool. Somebody else is going to profit about the fact that they're going to walk past something, they're going to get information about them and then they can be targeted in terms of advertising and promotional benefit. At the moment you need to download a specific app, but the technology can be retrofitted into any of them meaning many more of us may soon be seeing these ads. The question is whether the deals we get justify the data we give away and whether we're happy to let the marketeers into our mobiles.